boys? What's going on? Well, I decided to wait until the day attacked before I sighted in my bow. So, I'm using my lunch break right now to try and get this thing figured out. I got reduced to quiver duty. Uh, <laughs> cone of shame for about a month or two, but we'll be back, buddy. I should pull back my bow and test out a nice little 40 pounder <laughs> We got the new Fred Bear, pretty sick, all black. Okay, so clearly I was in a rush leaving the house. Everything's kind of just tossed in here, but that's okay, because it's gonna go straight in the truck. And then I will rearrange it when we get to Utah. <laughs> I am gonna load all the food that I purchased for Salt Lake Pack. What do you got? Uh, everything. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days for our uh, Airbnb, so we can feed our crew that we're taking down. You're awesome. <laughs> So Tristan is attempting to back the trailer in. We'll see how it goes, stand by. This is the best I've ever seen right here. It's usually like a 30 minute process, but I think we've got it down to five or 10 now. How am I looking? This angle is actually really terrible with the way we have the cars parked. You can't actually straighten it and come back. You kind of have to come in at like a curve. Got it, you could build a Walmart here. <laughs> no, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> There's so much room. But see, to have to swing it in, you're already at an angle, so whatever. We, uh, we have to move our forklift because our show expert here can't back in a freaking trailer. <laughs> it's like watching a new baby walk for the first time. Well, we just backed the trailer inside. We're getting ready for TAC Total Archery Challenge in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, this coming weekend, we're leaving tomorrow dragging the trailer down with a bunch of stuff for you guys. Um, so I'm spending the next couple days getting that all packed up, getting ready for the week there. And uh, yeah, we're still working on the trailer skills. It's coming along. Andrew doesn't think so, but we'll get there someday. New bow day, unboxing. Let's go. So uh, the new Hoyt is in, so which we're like super stoked about. So we'll go get some light, get this thing unboxed, check it out. You know, tax only uh, three days away for the chances of me getting this built and sighted in. Oh shit, cut through the box. Ooh oh, he did it. <laughs> this thing is badass. So this is the RX7 carbon. Um, I actually just, and I think it's an RX-7 carbon. And then like the goal, like I actually wanted the one step down below because my draw length is a 31 and a half or 30 and a half. We had to bump up the, the length of the bow and stuff like that. So, but, oh, this thing is sick. We've got stabilizers. We've got that carbon super light, which this thing is awesome. Super low profile. Um, and then just running this thing, this ultra rest is gonna be great. I need to figure it out. I've actually never played around too much with stabilizers. I've always done the uh, like the quiverizer, so I might run a little different setup for this one. I love the quiverizer on my tack bow, but hunting wise, I wasn't crazy about crawling through brush with that giant quiver sticking out of the front of the bow. I know a lot of people like it because they can kind of like use it as a like a pedestal, but that just always freaked me out. What are you eating? Steak for breakfast. It's the best breakfast. Doing the carnivore thing. Uh, packing up for Total Archery Challenge in Utah. Our guys take off today. I fly down tomorrow. Um, so get my wife, my wife's bow packed up and my bow packed up. So it's gonna be a good time.
Hey guys, Cody here with Montana Knife Company here hanging out in Josh's old shop where I personally ground each one of these hatchets for you guys and can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Um, if you want a chance to win one of these, just like, comment, and subscribe to our email list.